I'm Cristiana Prado, an art professor and a ceramic artist, and I'll be the featured artist of 108 Contemporary from June through July. In Brazil, I got my degree in architecture, and in 1999, I moved to the U.S., and I got my degrees in printmaking, BFA and MA. In fact, um, I was trying to follow my, my father's profession because he's an architect. But at the same time, I always liked the artistic side of architecture. And I felt like I'm not that quite happy yet. There's something else missing. And when I had a clay class, a ceramics class, while I was finishing my MA in printmaking, I felt like this is what I need. This is what I was looking for. And I discovered myself as a very flexible person too. It was a big shift. I moved from you know, a very structured field of architecture and printmaking to something very flexible, which is clay, which is ceramics. And growing up in Salvador, a coastal and port city, and spending summer vacations, um, at our beach house, like a few yards from the ocean, made me have a strong relationship with nature, especially the ocean. When I moved to the US, I felt like, I don't have the ocean here in Tulsa. What am I gonna do? I mean, and I still love nature, of course, and there is a lot of nature around me. So I love walking, and then when I walk, I like to be in that kind of environment, but it's a different environment. So here I explore the woods, you know, I like to, collect things too. I like flowers, leaves, trees, and I look for texture, different you know, shapes and forms. And another source of inspiration for my work comes from a little bit of the history of my city. So Salvador is a very, a city full of mysticism and symbolism due to the um, uh, syncretism of religious, you know, and it's a kind of an interrelationship between um, the local culture, and the European culture, and the African culture. So when I have clay as my medium, I feel like that I can fuse all sorts of inspirations, those sorts of inspirations. Then there's another thing going on there, which comes from watching my mom watercolor. And I love watercolor, that's my second favorite medium. And so watching her, you know, um, paint with watercolor and expecting the results of the blend the blend of colors in a very unexpected way always fascinated me and i felt like i'm gonna use that with ceramics i'm gonna try that with glazes and that's what i do so my pieces are very um, colorful by the way and i always look for this mix of colors and then what i do is that since i fire my pieces at low temperature I add glazes in between the firings because I look for these unexpected results. I look for these surprises and these colors that I don't even know how they're gonna turn out. And then my pieces become very unique because I don't know how to duplicate this. But for my own process, it's just hand building. I like the imperfections, you know, and I like the imperfection of the hand building techniques. I feel that I'm kind of I have a kind of a dual heritage because I have lived here for so many years but I will never forget my identity my origins and all these memories from these happy moments in Brazil and I bring them here and I translate all this into my pieces this is for example is um, it came I was inspired by the African you know figures and sculptures part of their African religion that we have a lot in Brazil, in Salvador. And um, again, it's not a literal entity or anything, it's just like my interpretation of that, or of them, you know? And then as you see, I added a lot of things as if they were like, you know, the sea things, seashells, or, you know, all sorts of different things that I used to collect. This is a very organic one. And as you see, this is a result of adding a very runny glaze. And I feel like I don't know what's going to happen because when it's a very runny one, it goes everywhere. And so I felt like, you know, this is going too much probably, but I love it. And then you see how much, you know, um, dynamic it is in terms of the shapes and and if you ask me what this is, 
I don't know, it looks like a leaf, but could be something else, you know, with all these spikes here coming out of it. So I keep adding and I keep, you know, spending so much time and I feel so happy doing this. <laughs> do things to make you happy more than anything and uh, when I go back I feel like I was a happy child I was a happy young lady but there was like a painful process to become what I am today but I'll tell you um, that art has been so therapeutic in my life that uh, I didn't know that it would be once one, but I'm happy that I followed my instincts, like explore this, live this moment. So follow your dreams and believe in yourself.